thinking about doors. Now, of course, the reason I'm thinking about doors is because it has something to do with Sunday, but you knew that, didn't you? You know, doors are important. Doors will let us in. They can be warm and welcoming, or they can kind of be standoffish, and you can look at them and, and say, you know, that looks like a door of a jail or something. I'm not sure if I want to be inside there. Doors are important in our culture. In fact, there's a church ar architect who claims, and he may be right, he claims that the most important feature in any building for a church setting is the front door because it tells people you're either welcome or unintentionally it says, you know, we're not so friendly in here. We just assume you're not come in and know what's going on. You notice our doors are clear, and I like that because it kind of gives that image that we are warm and welcoming and we're friendly. Come on in. Doors are important. In fact, the scripture that we're looking at this week is one where Jesus says, I am the door. Interesting to think of Jesus as being a door. We're going to explore that this Sunday. You know, that reminds me, those of you in the modern worship service, might be a good time for Jim Morrison and the doors to show up. Ah, we'll see, but it might happen. Um, if you're in our traditional worship this week, one of the hymns we're going to sing is actually a song that many, many mothers sang to their children for years and years and years. It's one of our favorites. This is Mother's Day, so we'll be looking at that as well. This Sunday, Mother's Day, a day when we're also talking about doors. Jesus saying, I am the door. I'll see you Sunday. Uh, I'm not really leaving. I'm just going to get away from this camera thing. <gasps>